So you having a good day? Uh, I, it's a beautiful day. All First right. coming. All right. So this is probably my family's prized possession, yeah, Travis. I know. Oh, that's a big buildup because a lot of family stories can go <laughs> either way. In 1955, Elvis came to Batesville, Arkansas. My okay. father-in-law was at that show, went backstage, shook his hand, signed this for him. It has not been authenticated because, as my father-in-law says, I was the authenticator. Based on what we see, and you have Elvis, right? King yeah. of rock and roll. Everybody loves him. Icon. There's a lot of autographs out there. He must have been having a really bad day signing this autograph because, I mean, the way he ends that Y is like... Yeah. Not how you see sure. no, hypothetical. If this is legit, right? Comes back, boom. Money shot, certified Elvis autograph on a headshot like that. Easily a thousand to fifteen hundred bucks. Awesome. Maybe a little bit more. All right, Dana's got one now. All right, Dana, round two. This has no story. Awesome, okay. Oh come on. Wow, hey, it's not even a real one. It's not what? even a, I mean, at first I'm going to say, oh, wow, it's a Hummel. But it's not, I mean, Hummels are bad enough. But this is a, a, a fake Hummel. Honestly, if you like, you know, target shooting, it's cheaper than buying clay pigeons or anything like this. Just throw it up, you know, you take a shot. But, um, no, this is 1950s, Occupy Japan, Hummel bootleg. If you were in an antique store, could you maybe get a $10 bill? Maybe. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you. Absolutely. Pleasure to meet you. Enjoy the day. Thank you Thank for coming. You, buddy.